And likewise inside Surah An-Nur that we find, Allah gives this description about At-Tayyibun, At-Tayyibat, good men, good women, good things. This is the path that we should be following inside our lives, of finding the pure things inside our life. And seeing how the Prophet ﷺ, he came with his pure things, how he came to purify people. That's what he mentions in the hadith in Muatta Imam Malik. I've been sent for the sole purpose to refine people's character and behavior. Character and behavior isn't niceties and giving salam and, and greetings. That's just one element. Akhlaq is, as ulama have said, akhlaq khuluq tal khalqi. Khuluq is from the same letters, three letters that we find, kha, lam, qaf. And likewise, you find khalq, your creation. That your character becomes like your creation. Just like your body, everything is structured in the right location, your character becomes embodied within yourself. It becomes embodied that everything about you is unique. That you're vigilant about everything. That's why Aisha mentioned our mother. She said, Kana khuluquhul Quran. His character was the Quran, the living embodiment of the Quran. Rubba qari'in al Quran yal anuhu. Look how many of our young individuals, you know, they memorize the Quran. They may have led even Salatul Tarawih. And you find a hadith, it says, Rubba qari'in, maybe a reciter of the Quran. Al Quran yal anuhu. The Quran is cursing him. How is that plausible? How is that plausible the Qur'an is cursing an individual who recites the Qur'an? How? Because ma yutabbiqu al-Qur'an He doesn't implement the Qur'an, he knows the Qur'an He's memorized the Qur'an, he can read the Qur'an In a passionate voice, imitating whatever reciters it may be May even memorize the whole of the Qur'an, may even lead the people inside the prayer But it doesn't change their perception About taking them away from munkarat, taking them away from evil Inna salata tanha anil fahshai wal munkar What's the power of salah? What does prayer do to a person? It takes you away from al-fahsha. Al-fawahish. What is fawahish in the English language? It is lewdness, sexual promiscuity, wickedness, bad conduct, zina, al-haram, all these, whatever is related to it. That's what al-fawahish is inside the Quran. Wal-munkar is every other evil that comes there. So if the power of salah doesn't take you away from al-haram, we need to question ourselves. That do I understand the salah? Do I understand what the salah is? What does it mean? What does it entail? What is it asking me to do? Or is the salah also cursing me? Just that the Quran is cursing me because I don't implement the Quran. Kitabun anzalnaw ilayka mubarakun liyadabbaru ayatihi wa liyatadhakra ulul albab. This is a blessed book. Liyadabbaru ayatihi that you may ponder and reflect over its ayat. That's what some ulama tafasir they mention, liyudabbiru ayatihi, liyutabbiku ayatihi, that you may implement its words. Not just reflect it, you implement the, the Qur'an. That's what the Qur'an should do to the individual. They hear, hear the Qur'an, they hear the reminder of the Qur'an. It awakens the soul. It awakens the, the individual to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's all that the Prophet ﷺ, he done. He just preached the Qur'an. So many individuals who were lost in their path, he would just recite the Qur'an. Please like, share and subscribe to the Digital Member YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Please also like, share and subscribe to our Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description of this video.